Nabotas here. If you haven't watched part 1 in this series, you're picking up a 30 page book and starting on page 10. I've linked part 1 in the description for this video. This is modularity part 2. In part 2, we're taking the rules we set down in part 1 and working towards turning hulls into ships. As I said in part 1, without components, the only thing a hull really has is places to put stuff. After we attach components to the hulls, they'll be ships. We've got a lot to cover before we can get to that point though, and this video won't get us there. In part 3, we'll finish defining the components and attributes we need, and go into detail on the ship's pipelines and how they function in this example. Let's get right to it. We're starting with what I've identified as the Prime 7 component archetypes. Power plants, batteries, engines, thrusters, shields, coolers, and intakes. All components from part 1 have volume, so we'll flesh out our system to determine values for mass and other attributes for each after we see how they fit together. In the hole diagrams, where we allocated volume for components, I used a color scheme, which has changed a little from part one. I've started using the colors to help me distinguish the components archetype pages, so we'll roll with those. We also have to run through defining the components and attributes too, but we have silly cartoons for those. It's pipeline time. Power plants consume fuel to create output, which also creates heat. The output goes to the power pipeline. Batteries charge from the power pipeline to the capacity pipeline, which can be used for output to the power pipeline. This process creates heat. Engines consume fuel and power to create force, and also produce heat. Thrusters also consume fuel and power to create force, and also produce heat. Shields consume power to create shields, which creates heat. Coolers consume power and bring us to the ship's heat pipeline, which coolers cool. Intakes consume power to create intake cool or create force. Creating force or intake creates heat. Intake goes to the fuel pipeline but does not create fuel. I'll explain how this works while defining the components attributes. The power plant is the beating heart of the ship. Without one you're not going anywhere as every component on your ship depends on its output. Output's value is power per second the power plant generates. In this system I'm using different terms for creating a consumable unit and spending that unit. So output is creating power per second and power is using power per second. When the pipeline has power it means it has units per second that can be consumed. Power plants create heat. The value for a power plant's heat is heat created per second. The use of fuel is called burn. A value of burn 1 means 1 liter of fuel is consumed per second. In this system many components have an attribute called spin. The value of spin is the number of seconds a component takes to go from 0 to 100% of its function and back to 0. To use a component at 50% of its full potential, the component must be spun up or down to that value, so having your power plant on doesn't mean anything until you spin it up. This is incremental, so if after 3 seconds the power plant is spun up to 30%, it's producing 30% of its maximum output, but costing a fraction of that. Components spun to less than 100% still produce their equivalent product, but have a reduced cost on a curve. So running components at 50% spin means you're getting half of their benefits at much less than half of their normal cost. The power plant's last attribute is quantum. Quantum requires the power plant to have been operating at 100%. It then turns its output on itself and spins itself up a second time, driving it to a perpetual state. While spinning up quantum, the power plant cannot output to the power pipeline. In quantum, power plants create more output and heat, but no longer burn to operate. Leaving quantum mode requires the power plant to be shut down, spinning down twice and restarted. I'll explain why I added this attribute later. Even at first, I rolled my eyes. It grew on me. Batteries collect excess power from the power pipeline and store it for later use. This is called charge. The value for charge is the power per second the battery can convert to capacity. The value for capacity is the amount of power from the ship's power pipeline the battery can charge. Capacity is stored until the power pipeline needs more power, at which time a battery can convert its capacity into output and return it to the ship's power pipeline. The battery's value for output is how many units of power it can supply to the power pipeline from capacity per second. Batteries only create heat when they are charging. The value for a battery's heat is how much heat per second it creates while using its maximum charge. Batteries have no spin because they don't have a lot of moving parts. Engines are the primary means of locomotion for ships. Engines create force. The value for force is in newtons because it's easy to determine acceleration as mass is measured in kilograms. Engines consume power, which is measured in units per second from the power pipeline. Engines also create heat. 
The values listed for power and heat are halved when the engine is not creating force, but having an engine spun up creates heat and costs power. Engines only burn when they are creating force. The engines don't combust the fuel, it's used for reaction mass. They accelerate the reaction mass and throw it out to create force. Burn is to say it's spent, you can't have it back. Engines also have the spin attribute, so they have to be spun up to create force. Merely having the engine spun up, even to 100%, will not cause burn. In this example, boost is an attribute of engines, so boost is not available until the engines have been spun up to 100%. The value for boost increases the engine's force. I went with an afterburner style of boost since the engine relies on reaction mass to create force, and it's already accelerating the fuel at its maximum ability, 100%. The only way to get more force is to use more fuel. So once boost is activated, it begins to prime. The prime attribute is the liters of fuel the engine can store for boost. The prime rate attribute is how quickly the engine can complete its prime. The prime rate value is burn, liters per second of fuel spent. Afterburn is the consumption of prime per second while boosting. Boost heat is the additional heat generated by boost. While the engine can't work harder than 100% under normal circumstances, it undergoes additional resistance and friction while boosting. In this example, since the prime's value is burn, the fuel cannot be returned to the fuel pipeline if the prime is not used. Priming for boost is a commitment. Thrusters function exactly like engines. However, thrusters are the only of these seven archetypes that do not adhere to the same size scale. Thrusters still use the volume plus size filter format, except that we've scaled the dimensions of each size increment to a quarter of a meter and started at 0.75 meters instead of one. The same rules apply for median volume and the two adjacent size thresholds to qualify for a size filter, but I've rounded the median volume to half meters instead of whole. If you watched part one, this should have been pretty easy to follow. Thrusters are much more efficient and powerful than engines. The same design used for thrusters would never be used for primary propulsion though, because even the best made thrusters are only so many minutes of thrusting away from needing to be replaced. If you live on earth, you buy tires. If you live in space, you buy thrusters. In order to get so much force at as little cost as possible, thrusters just deteriorate quickly. That's it for this video. Part three is just around the corner and should be out before the end of the week, at which time we'll move to a more scheduled release of segments. My goal is to get to five minute parts and finish at least one part each week, even if it means dropping off in the middle, but we won't be wasting any time getting started or piecing out. See you soon for part three and thanks for watching. Neb, out.